Welcome back, everyone. My name is Eltimore, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Stellaris. Where we left off last time, we had just avoided a civil war. We're turning other planets into nanite worlds. And we're going to try and fix our rather dire energy problem right now. But we're going to get there. Don't worry. It's fine. We're not in too bad of shape just yet. Although, in retrospect, we can probably upgrade that. In retrospect, I probably should have made more energy worlds instead of focus oh, but our energy worlds as they turn into better worlds, nanite worlds specifically, uh, we'll be able to get more energy from them. And we just got a huge increase from that plus 20% uh, job thing that we just happened to make. So these worlds are being devastated as they are turning into complete. nanite worlds. How is our unity production going? I need you start Cosmogenesis, I think, soon. I also realized it's something very stupid. When we deleted all those armies, we kind of needed them. Although we are actually very low on minerals, so I'm going to weirdly buy some to make sure our trade goes through properly. Um, we're going to need them for invading the worlds we're going to claim over here, or that we started to claim over, sorry, here, not yeah, over there, in the Domin and Principality. I'm not sure if our, our Federation is going to go along with us declaring war on them, though, which is a little bit of a concern. Um, yeah, we'll see. How many minerals are we selling? What if we drop... Like, some of them? And we just sell some alloys instead. Just not even too many alloys, just like 40 a month should be fine. Okay, that should solve hopefully our energy problem. Yeah, there we go. That solves it for a bit. We'll do your wares. They want to drop alloys for... Oh, we don't need minor artifacts. No thanks. At the moment, we are loaded up on minor artifacts. Can we build our next astral siphon level? We definitely can. Let's start upgrading those, and we're out of minerals again. We really need to let our minerals build back up. I think I sold a bunch of them to solve our imminent and dire energy problem, and now we kind of need more. Uh, we'll grab society research, and we're going to let the stun swallow that, because I don't care about that at all. Mech... Oh yeah, our will rings are really good. We're going to grab those for sure. Technological That's 100% what we're grabbing right now. And we'll grab chemical plants, I guess. Not that that's going to matter. We're going to use the... Uh... We're going to use... Um... Sorry. Words are hard. We're going to use... Um... Oh my god. I'm having a brain meltdown, apparently. You know what? Don't even worry about it. I don't know what I was saying to start with. Space entity encountered. Oh, right. Chemical plants. We're going to use the uh, Cosmogenesis upgraded rare resource thing instead. There we go. That's where I was going with that. It's been a long day, guys. It's just been a long day. Successful. That's where I'm at. Uh, let's grab... Technological we don't need hydroponic farms. Let's grab that. We may need some food production eventually, even with people plugged into the synaptic lathe. We could make a quantum catapult, I guess, but it's such a terrible one. Let's grab more tech. Not that the quantum catapult is necessarily bad. There can be good things it does. It's just generally worse than the alternatives. That world's fine. This one hasn't fully... Turned over, but it will very soon. It's almost done. There we go. It actually gives us more space to build, more generator districts. However, the devastation is pretty terrible. Although not nearly as bad as some of the other worlds that got turned into nanite worlds. Are you still successful. turning? Yeah, you are. Okay. All those will be nanite worlds eventually. They do give nanites in general, so we're at plus 81 nanites. And though that'll go up as the things build up. I need... Where's Science Nexus? Did we get a Science Nexus already? Is that the tech we already got? Hang on. Let's pull your roll. No, we definitely don't have one of those. Okay. 
This is done, and it's producing 94 um, physics research. This is a plus 5 world, or uh, star. That's not bad. Don't really think we'll need the energy later. I'm just going to try and find a really good star that has another research. Ooh. Can you build a Dyson Swarm around a black hole? Good question. I don't think so. No. That would have been really cool if we could have, though. It's worth a shot. What's this one? Energy. Just looking for anything that has, like, moderately good amounts of research, and then just seeing if it... That one does, but it's not as good as the five we saw earlier. How about you, Tau Seti? No, your energy. Um... I don't see any... Oh, maybe this one? Two on the star. Yeah. Ooh, what about this guy? Four physics. Oh, then the... Or sorry. Yeah, four physics and then the engineering is on a different thing. If those had both been on the star, that would have been so good. But that's not the case, sadly. Okay, I guess we're... Ooh, maybe this one? No. Maybe this one? Four. So I guess it is this one. This one's the five. All right, let's go build another Dyson Swarm. There. We can't. But why? It just doesn't want to let us. Okay, let's try this four one then. We can do this four one. I don't know why the other one doesn't work. Technological. But here we are. Successful. Orbital rings are done. Uh, let's grab. Let's start getting some of these techs because we're going to need them for our ships, and they do cost a absolute fortune to start pumping out. Okay, all of our worlds, bar one, is are done turning into nanite worlds, which is good. Do any of these worlds need better jobs? You do. I'm going to let this one keep building. This world is largely done. We don't have any rare resources, so... We need to stop... Oh, right. Okay, so we have to kill off our Zoro sales now. We don't have any more Zoro production. Technological because we've turned all those Zoro worlds into nanite worlds. So that is a thing we have done. Yuck. Wormhole travel, I guess. Do we have any wormholes in our space? That's actually a really good question that I never glanced at. Uh, we need a side ship. You go into there. Go do an astral rift. Someone needs to go do this excavation. Do we have anything else going on around here? Right, we're not allowed to build um, observation posts above Dacha, so we're not going to. Okay. Everything is going perfectly fine now. More or less. This world will finish up here in a second as well. And all these worlds are getting undevastated, so we're actually doing pretty good. Except for that guy's got conflicting data, which is actually terrible. At least he's not a sector leader. Making everything worse for everyone else. Okay, this world's done. It just needs to rebuild all of its stuff. Our energy's fine. Our alloys are fine. Our nanite income is good. We just need to get tech going now. Astral Rift is on the way. You are a good enough world. You're just not quite prepared yet. Council agenda ready. And we're going to grab whatever this is. Uh, Councilor experience up. I guess we could do... What are these? Encryption? Don't care. Diplomatic weight? Don't care. We don't need to do correctional bisection yet. Let's do favored society to get more science going. Giant eggs. The large rocks our probe detected are actually eggs. The planet is a giant hatchery. Judging by their twitching, the eggs will soon hatch, and this place will be host to a multitude of alien young. We have not detected any creature that could have laid these. With each egg the size of our rift sphere, it does not seem likely that we could miss a full-grown adult. Neither does this planet have the proper ecosystem to support such a large population. Our preliminary theories are that the species conducts interstellar migration, or that their lifestyle life cycle ends swiftly after they lay their eggs in order to give the environment time to recover. Fascinating. And we have another Unity thing built up. Let's get negative traits down, and our Edicts Fund will go up. Actually, we should really take a look at our Edicts Fund now that I think about it. We have a lot that we can do. We're going to get more um, research speed 
We can also get... We don't need... I don't care about the naval capacity. I also don't even care about the monthly alloys. I do care about the generators. Monthly energy credits plus 50%. We're now perfectly fine in terms of energy. We're now at 712. Uh, let's get hyperspace relays. Those are always useful. And uh, we're going to turn some of these generator worlds. Actually, no, we're going to leave them as generator worlds. We are going to need that much energy when we start feeding people to the lathe, once we can actually get the lathe, which is going to be in one unity thing. The only reason I'm not going to go straight for Galactic Wonders and build our ring worlds like I had hoped was because we can't. We actually do not have the ability to do so because we haven't gotten a mega structure tech yet. I'm going to start building uh, orbital rings on planets as well. Let's grab a ship. We need. Where's our more, there's more construction ship? There's two of them here, actually. Let's grab one and do the next planet. Grab one, do the third planet. Okay. Orbital rings are going to go build. And we're fine in that regard. I'm glad we got some energy going. Astral Rift. The eggs are hatching. The landscape is overrun with massive winged animals emerging from the shells. Within minutes, they gain the ability to fly. The skies are now filled with these soaring creatures. Strangely, we have yet to witness them feed on any other organism. Their instinctive behavior of flying high into the atmosphere suggests that they might be gaining energy from the planet's star. The movement of the creature's fin-like wings is similar to the way one would maneuver a sail, spread to maximize exposure to stellar radiation in order to direct their travel. There is still much we do not understand about these creatures. Studying them more closely could give us a better understanding of their physiology. That said, given our lack of knowledge, observing them from a distance might be safer. No, go closer. You're a pretty good scientist. You can deal with it. You'll be fine. There's a stealth science ship flying around our space. And we got our first band of nanites. They're not great at first. Only 1,500 fleet strength worth. Also, they have terrible weapons on them. Technological We're going to get them nanite successful. guns and stuff soon. That should help out. Actually, let's take a look at our nanites. Oh, we should probably grab a tech. Uh, let's grab... Elf hub, sure. Um, so ship designer. We can now actually design our nanite swarmer. What choices do we have? We can make them torpedo ships, which actually might be the best idea. Because... We could fill them... We don't actually have any G-slot weapons yet, but once we get torpedoes... We can fill them with torpedoes and just send waves of torpedoes against anything we need to kill. And they'll, they'll die successful. really fast. We can also build two different branches of them. One that is like... Well, the other way we can go about doing this, actually, if we since we are Archaeo, is we can put... Um, oh, we don't have either of them. Uh, ancient Cavitation Beam on the, one of the medium slots and then the um, Macro Battery on the other one. Since we don't have to worry about ancient, uh, or minor artifacts, I should say, we can just have the two best weapons to tear down shields and then hulls, respectively. They can become extremely powerful that way as well. Just as a heads up, those are two things we could do. I'm not sure which way we want to go on it yet, but I think Alert. it depends on what ancient species we are going to be, or what uh, crisis we're going to be fighting first. And let's continue on. Psionic potential on some other species. I'm sad that those are the ships we got so far, but it's only our first wave. And we're only at 2310, so we should have lots of time to get more of them. A lot more of them. And we're going to use them to start invading other planets soon, like these guys. How are our... Orbital ring is going. None of them have started yet. I guess there's that one building at the moment. Sith have become a psychic. And the Kelburn Republic have been kicked from a federation. Is it our federation? No, our federation's still fine. Our federation's actually pretty cohesive, honestly. Our fleet is the weakest by a lot, but our tech is actually the strongest. And it'll go higher up. Uh, let's pause here for a sec. We got things going on. Someone wants to give the Kelbrin Republic Association status. Yeah, it's fine. I don't care. 
Labyrinth of Death. Beneath the ruins of the largest city, an amazing discovery was made, and an artificial underground complex of immense proportions was detected by surface penetrating sensors. The entrance, highly elaborate in design and possibly ceremonial in nature, was easily located, but further exploration was quickly halted. The two large moons of Fui La, or 1A, sorry, exert exceptionally powerful tidal forces, so strong in fact that they affect the motion of magma currents in the planet's core. The underground complex seems to be built with this in mind, with the corridors and chambers periodically flooded with running lava. Luckily enough, the ebb and flow can be predicted, but it is as of yet a mystery why a relatively advanced civilization would construct a subterranean death trap like that. Keep digging, let's find out. Uh, housing does go up, and we do have lots of jobs, but some of these are maintenance jobs, I don't care. We'll wait to build more districts, though, because I think we are good on... Oh, we need more jobs on this planet. We can get more jobs on this planet in the form of Unity. This is a Unity planet, I think, so let's just build Unity and the Sentinel Post. Orbital Ring and Appear is done, which isn't super useful initially. We need to... What am I doing? Upgrade it to level 2. That does take a bunch of our er, influence, though. The creatures showed no fear as we approached them, probably due to a lack of predators within their isolated habitat. We're able to easily take samples from the beings and the remains of their eggs as they flew curiously around us. Their skin forms a natural solar panel that allows them to gain all necessary sustenance from their star. It's also highly resistant to pressure that would comfortably withstand and that it would comfortably withstand the vacuum of space for long periods of time. It's highly likely that these creatures have evolved to be capable of prolonged space flight. Remarkable. We really need a megastructure tech soon, like an actual megastructure. That's uh, orbital rings are not Over technically a uh, megastructure either. So let's go engineering focus. Technological acquisition successful. All right, let's grab cosmogenesis and get that started right away. Knowledge is powder. Or power. <laughs> Knowledge is powder. Situation and we are now crisis adjusted. level one. We need to build a synaptic lathe. How much does that cost us? Also, I don't think it, we need to research it first, but also doesn't... Oh, we can build it or research it now, I guess. No, we can't. Let's look at our crisis situation. When do we get the synaptic lathe? Unclear. We definitely can't build it. We definitely cannot build it. Okay. Well, let's grab a tech. We can grab a... Crisis level 2 immediately off the bat. Let's do that. Nanite auto cannons are done next. So that's good. Successful. And we'll grab... There's the synaptic lathe. It's a... Engineering tech. Let's grab that right away. We need to get Alert. started on that. Standard space uh, we can also, now... Since we don't have access to the... Um, Archaeo tech ones. We have garbage power. Okay. We'll put a reactor booster on there. Since it doesn't actually cost us anything. We do want afterburners on there eventually. Why can't I upgrade you? Did it not save? I did save. This design can be upgraded, but... Oh! Right, we don't have any shipyards, technically. Let's uh, do that. Build a shipyard so we can upgrade them for now. Give our people levels. That's important. Uh, unification focus. Gar, no. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess defensive computing is fine. Starbase stuff is okay. Spiteful? Entourage? Research? Nope, spiteful. We must get some rivals going soon. But first, we need to upgrade these ships and give ourselves a little extra boost in power. We have full on astral threads. We might as well do that. Technological acquisition success. Alpha Hub. Do you have anything that I can... Oh, resources from jobs. Plus 5% is pretty good. I'll grab that. Fairly shortly, we should get more ships. Our research was interrupted by a disturbance in the fabric of space. A being larger than a battleship suddenly phased into existence. It was immediately surrounded by darting and seemingly playful hatchlings. Given the larger creature's physiological similarity, it's reasonable to assume this is a mature version of the species. Initially wary of our presence, it was reassured by the friendliness of the young 
who continued to frolic around our vessel without care. The creature lingered for a few hours before a new rift in space appeared in the outer atmosphere, wrangling together its charges. The adult guided them inside and passed into another dimension. The wake of their passage left behind waves of spatial disruption, resulting in a large concentration of astral threads. A bunch of unity and some more astral threads. We can do a new astral action, apparently, but... Um, in the aftermath of the exploration of the astral rift in Apira, a mysterious transmission was received. Our science units have determined its origin to be from beyond the rift itself and have only been able to translate a few words. On screen. Attune with the planes, we will find you. This is a frontier society. We need to make this into a... Are these planets too far away to even be in the same... Front? Yeah, they are. One, two, three, four. They're way too far away. This is going to be two separate... Um, sectors. So we're going to need some people. How is our... Okay, so we need... We can have another two scientists and three commanders. Good enough. Let's grab a commander here. Any good ones? Nope. No. No. Any good scientists? I guess that one's okay. Then that one's okay. Alright, let's grab that one. And you can be the scientist for... What's this? Oh no, that's actually terrible. Let's not do that. Awful. Maybe we can get some commanders and hope for the best, I guess. Sure. That place has got someone. Let's grab a commander. Even though they do lower research, I guess. Which we don't want, but... Uh, lower deviancy, I suppose. Okay. Let's grab another commander here. I guess you, I don't really care. Army build speed, army cost. I mean, it's not great, but it's not the worst. Sure. Okay. So this planet is good to go. That's giving us energy. That's fine. Don't need jobs. Don't need jobs. Don't need jobs. Don't need jobs yet. This one does, but it's building. Complete. The floor is lava. An expedition was sent down into the volcanic tunnel network, navigating the magma secured or scout. Sorry, the magma scoured basalt maze will be a delicate business as the frequent ebb and flow of lava periodically maroons the expedition deep within. When or if the end of the labyrinth is reached, there is also the long road that back that needs to be traversed. Once inside, there's no way of communicating with the expedition. We can only wait. Good luck. And what do we got? Okay, we can build another, or get one of our next trees. I'm going to leave Supremacy for the end, I think. And we'll go straight to Domination to get that Empire size down even more, I believe is the best plan of action. Yes. Council agenda available. Deviancy, Menial Drones, Empire size from Districts, and eventually we'll get negative 10% Empire size from Pops. So, good to go. We're down to 286, which actually is pretty okay, considering we have 502 pops and um, however many planets we have, 11-ish, which isn't a lot of planets. We need more ships, but we haven't gotten any more ships because we only have these 16. We can actually upgrade them now, though. Ship augmentations complete. They got worse. They got worse when we swapped them off of um, Strikecraft. That said... Strikecraft on these ships never work out well for me. They always seem to get stuck doing nothing and then all the ships blow up and then that's the end of it. And it's very kind of disappointing. So I'm going to go with the Nanite Auto Cannons for now. We'll change them later. Hold all these. We should probably just get rid of this trade. I kind of need the minerals now more than I need the other things. And energy. Technological acquisition successful. Didn't seem to lower our energy, which is weird. Why? It's 
Synaptic lathe is going to end or be built successful. or finished soon. Good. Let's get... We could get some machine modification points and change up our species a little to be a little more efficient. Let's do that. Let's build the lathe right now. Not on this place, though, because apparently we have nowhere to build it here. Let's go to Caspir. Yes, go build that right now. Need a lathe up and running. I don't think it counts for Galactic Wonders, but if it does, that'd be kind of nice. Grab what? Civil exclusion. More pop output, but more deviancy. Nah. Let's grab synthetic gauge. Council agenda available. Orbital rings need to upgrade more, but we don't have the influence for it. Acquisition successful. And our federation increased. Let's see if they'll go to very high. It looks like everyone seems to be pretty on board. Good. Uh, we're going to grab torpedoes. We can actually give these guys torpedoes and still, instead they'll be pretty okay, I think. Technological acquisition successful. Alright. Let's get habitation modules. That'll let us make more districts on our planets. Pretty useful. We need more planets soon, though. So we need to do a war shortly. These guys have actually have a pretty sizable fleet now. They're in a war against someone. Who are they at war with? Let's find out. They're currently at war with... No one. Oh, they're, that's not a war thing. I'm just blocking um, the ability to go there. That's what it is. I was kind of confused as to what was going on there for a sec. We have a 36,000 defense station, which isn't enough now that I see the size of their fleet. What's our Federation fleet size? Also not enough to fight their fleet. They have a big fleet. More than I assumed, about 45,000. So we're going to have to get ready for that war. We should have more ships coming in. Well, now they're already done. So what I usually do is I just try and group some ships together. You're never going to get all of them into the same fleet. It's just not going to work. There's too many of them. Now we're at uh, 5,000 fleet strength. So, we gotta keep building them up. We need way more of them. I wonder if we put torpedoes on them, if they'll be better. I mean, that's so much auto cannon damage, though. The range is not great, admittedly. I don't want to see if we can get some bio... Oh, we're doing this acquisition successful. long thing. Okay. Um, we're also getting dark matter reactors. Good. Grab fusion missile, missiles. The other thing we can do on these ships might be like whirlwind missiles are pretty good. Yeah, we can do mediums. One strike craft. Four point defense or two torpedoes. A double torpedo launcher, though, for a small ship like that, we could have 10,000, like 20,000 torpedoes in the air just shooting at someone. That could be just a mammoth amount of damage. How's that uh, synaptic lathe coming along? Good. Hmm, do I want to do... And if I am going to do that, should I just be grabbing... Oh, we already don't have that research right okay i remember there used to be a time a long time ago a few patches back where success. you could just have point defense and it was so over tuned the point defense was extremely good against everything you just have point defense fleets they're pretty it was pretty amusing Let's grab some more tech. This world is pretty decent and needs some more... How's our... We have 113 nanite production. Let's get more nanite research facilities. We need to start getting more tech. Treasure trove. Our, the expedition finally reached or emerged from the deep and not empty-handed. In the innermost chamber, a surprising discovery was made. An actual treasure vault crammed with precious metals and gemstones, trinkets, and stunning art artwork. It's easy to understand how a treasure trove like this warranted such profound protection. 
Safely recovering this hoard will be a time-consuming task, but not an insurmountable one. The question as to the why the vault was constructed in such an extreme environment remains, however. Was it just acquisition security of an eccentric collector? Could it be some form of ritual sacrifice, or did this ancient civilization bury their treasure in hopes that someday someone would know their story? It's been fully excavated, that's the end of that particular tree. We do have another rift we can go into, so let's do that. Technology Actually, I think it was an excavation. Successful. And we can get the last level of our astral research. I do want advanced energy nexus, but we're going to have to wait for those, I think, for a little bit. Um, let's grab... See, we could do swarmer missile tech on all of them. It has good range and pretty decent damage. It also penetrates shields. It doesn't do any bonus to armor or hull, but I mean, say 10,000 strike or 10,000 nanite ships with whirlwind missiles is a titanic amount of missiles in the air, potentially. Let's grab Empire Size from Districts down. We really want to start lowering this value a little bit. Acquisition success. Now down to 262. That's pretty good. We don't have Whirlwind Missiles as the next one, so let's grab Antimatter Missiles. And is this done yet? No. Can we build any other megastructures yet? Also no. Okay. Did we build this one? Yes. Let's build that. Antimatter missiles are done. Let's grab better engines, I think. Yeah, let's do that. I'm kind of disappointed we haven't gotten any mega structure tech yet, like at all. Even with mega builders on and mega structure engineering. But something will pop up inevitably, hopefully. Otherwise, it's going to be a bad playthrough, but we'll see. <laughs> Let's grab, um... You know, let's grab Unstoppable Swarm. I don't know if that's going to help us, but it can't hurt. These are dull terrible for our leader, but you know what? I'm going to take Architectural Focus. It's the most useful one. We're going to have Overclock for the extra research speed. Although, anything else we want? No. Okay, moving on. Astral Nexus, Nexi are upgrading. I didn't do them on all of the worlds. Probably should have. Build more Astro. Actually, we don't even have one on this world. I'm going to build the Archaea Studies here as well. It doesn't matter. We don't have any Relic Worlds to put it on. So let's do that. Astral Siphon. You don't even have an Astral Siphon, so you need one. You also don't, but you need one too. And you need one less research facility, plus one astral siphon, and you can upgrade yours. Uh, we can grab or citadels, which is the best idea, and also we can upgrade our race really quickly here. We have two different species? What's the difference? One has enhanced memory and one doesn't. Cool. Alright, well we don't have very many trade points left. Why did we get enhanced memory? I really don't need enhanced memory. Let's get rid of that. We're going to grab instead um, adaptive frames, which should help out with some things. We're going to apply this to everyone. 11 months and it's done. All of our people will be the same. That should help out with some stuff, including research. Um, as soon as our Rift Sphere arrived at the Starbase, we were hailed by a num in a number of languages and on several frequencies. The owners of the station successfully translated our language with remarkable speed and welcomed us aboard to exchange information. We have since discovered that this sector is home to a civilization primarily composed of the Swarm Mutatus that calls itself the Swarm Star League. Fascinating. And our monthly unity just went down for- actually, it doesn't matter. We don't have any counselors on our board. We only have nodes and our leader. Uh, flexible programming amplifier. Unity from jobs as planetary governor is the best one for that. Okay. Even if it only gives a little bit of unity, I'm fine with that. Grab that. Grab this. 
grab that. All these astral funnels. We're going to pump a bunch of astral threads into our space. We're going to eventually, hopefully, get this empire size. No, it's going to go up. It's just going to go up. We might be able to get enough astral threads to keep, like, none of the things on, now that I think about it, because we don't need them. Alert. I wish we could do zero additives, but we can't. Encountered. Nor do we need them, actually. Um, could have done living metal construction, I guess. We don't need alloys. We don't need naval cap. We could turn on capacity, which... That's fine. What else could we do? Machine... Uh, I guess machine learning is not bad. And we have a bunch of energy currently, so why not? What else could we do that requires just unity? Um, we don't need mining sub... I guess we could have mining subsidies. It doesn't hurt anything. There we go. Synaptic lay. Let's get this upgrading. We have one neural chip in right now. We need to... Keep our one neural chip alive, I guess. He's producing nothing. Let's get... Neural gates. They require... Advanced research to do. Okay, good to know. Fracture to mind. We spent the last week in a cultural exchange with the Swarm Star League. Our interest quickly turned to alarm as we discovered that these beings are what remains of a broken collective consciousness... At some point in their civilization's development, their mind became poisoned by the concept of individuality, purposely segmenting itself over time, and eventually each drone began to hear no thoughts but their own. Alarming. That would be alarming for a hive mind to realize that that could happen. More influence is good. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have a mega... One second. Sorry about that, my dog is just a bit barky. Let's continue on. This world is research. Why does it have unity? Did we just forget to finish these? I guess I maybe did. Okay. Well, let's finish these up then. Uh, where's our nanite research facility? I'm going to build one nanite transmitter. I want to see if we can upgrade it to give other rare resources like dark matter and stuff. I don't think we can, but we'll take a look. It seems our knowledge, it seems knowledge of our presence at the station has escalated up their chain of command. An emissary of the Swarm Star League has been assigned to the Starbase to discuss the future of our peoples. They've made an impassioned case that our similarities outweigh our differences. They argue that an arrangement between our people would benefit both sides. It's true we share a unique heritage together. How do we wish to respond? Sure. We'll accept that. Talk to them. See what they want. See what they'll do. Upgrade that. Our research is at 3,000, which is still not enough. Not even close. We need more research. Technological and more alloy successful. production, actually. But I think we can stop... Are we selling alloys still? We should probably stop doing that, too. We can also now exploit Zero, which is going to be good for our economy. Because we do have some Zero deposits around our space, including on Zeron itself. I wish we could colonize Zeron. Zeron's such a cool world. Where is it? The Zeron Prime is right there. The Shrouded World, but it's pretty cool looking. Synaptic Lathe, upgrade it again. Build more of those. And we're going to do more assembly speed. Important, we get people. People are good. Technological These should all... Successful. Oh, we know what we need. We need um the Transit Hub. That'll help move people along to their next job. Armored torpedoes. More ships have spawned. I just lower it until we can actually just merge, and then whatever can merge, merges. And then everything else just flies by itself. We're now at... Uh, what's our fleet strength? 10,000 or so. And all of our people just leveled up a lot. Let's see what we can do. Rough. Refinement process, I guess. Um, generator focus. Sure. Geomapper might be useful. We do have mining stuff, and I don't really care about army stuff at all. Amplifier, okay. Deviancy, yes. Um, 
I guess army development focus. Sure. Okay. We have given the emissary a favorable response. Work is being done to facilitate a more permanent pathway between our two universes. Their disconnected minds, while inferior in their efficiency, will serve as fittingly as liaisons between ourselves and other hordes of individuals. Interesting. So we got Fractured Ambassador's Modifier, plus 20 Diplomatic Opinion for non-Gestalt Conscious Empires, um, New Friendship Modifier for 10 years, and a bunch of Society Research. Construction complete. Awesome. Yeah, let's keep building up everything that we need to build up. Also, more of these, and more of those, and... Actually, where's that one world we're building a nanite transmitter on? Let's take a look at that. It does give a little bit. Technological acquisition successful. Armored torpedoes. Technological. We could get another machine assembly successful. thing, but we're not going to. Let's get strike craft. Uh, can I build anything I want here? Not really. The stormcaster is good, but let's start getting some of these archaeotechs out of the way, so maybe we can get better ones, or the ones I actually want. I guess is more accurately. We can do another splitting. Let's find another science ship to go through it. If I were an astral rift, that's there it is. It's right there. I can say where would I be, but I would be right there. Upgrade the citadel. I'm just gonna make all of my defense station citadels. I don't care about the rest right now. And let's see what we got here. Advanced research. Let's go advanced shields, even though we don't really need them. We also need to continue building our um Orbital Ring Network. Technological acquisition successful. Pretty put one there, I guess. Can't build one on the lathe, so next world. Acquisition successful. We're down energy again. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that at the moment. Oh, let's get coil gun. I can't believe we're on level one coil guns. That's a little sad. I guess we'll just do hydroponic farms and get it out of the way. It's only two months. Technological acquisition successful. Coil guns are done, and technological acquisition successful. Nothing I really want. Who's fight? Are we at war? Who are we at war with? Oh shit! We're at war with these guys. I don't think they'll be able to break our station, but I'm really kind of worried now. Didn't even know we were at war. Our fleet is not really ready for that. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what we can do, actually, is we can buy, say, how much? 500 of those. Grab 500 of these. 500 of these. Policies and edicts. Let's go shield boost, volatile item emission, um, explosives, reactive armor, focusing crystals. It didn't really help our starbase that much. I think our ship, our starbase, is gonna die, unfortunately. Which means we should. What kind of war is this? I guess our. They might not be able to come very far into our territory. I don't think we're gonna defend the station, though. I think it's gonna die. Yeah, hundred percent. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay. We're just going to have to hold back. Until we have more ships. Didn't expect to be attacked. That's fine. We're okay. In another wave or two, we can... Oh, they're coming more into our territory. That's a little less than ideal. But nothing we can do. Our allies have taken the fight to them and appear to be winning, I think. Alert. Station engaged. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Sucks that we're on that border. Alert. Spaceport also, their fleet took like no damage. It's full of frigates. Oh, they had a lot of frigates actually. Okay. Our fleet might actually be pretty okay against that. However, we need more ships, and they should be popping out relatively soon. I think it's every five years. Acquisition and we'll see how many we get this time. If it's a good chunk, we should be able to go fight them. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. They are, however... Oh, they split their fleet. That's actually kind of nice of them. Alright, we'll see what we can get for ships. 
when they pop out, and then we'll go... Oh, that's going to suck to lose. Okay. You need to not be here. Neither do you. Go away. Alert. Go run away somewhere. Uh, you need to return, and we go missing in action so that they'll Alert. die. Spaceport deconstructed. Okay. There's a new fleet. Okay, so we did get a bunch more ships. Group up what we can. And our fleet strength is now what? 19,000, which isn't great, but might be able to take on one of those fleets. Let's go to Plov. Oh, let's go to Zarkon. Let's go to Dumseth. We're not going to be able to make it to Zarkon in time. We can lay an ambush for them and hope that they do something dumb like jump into our fleet at short range. Our fleet is a very short range fleet with nanite auto cannons. Alert. Spaceport engaged. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. They're already at Zarkin, so let's not go to Damsa. Let's go to Fui. Alert. Station. And why are engaged. some of them slower than the other ones? They've kind of stopped moving that fleet, I think. But we do have a science ship over here. Oh, it's got no one in it. I don't care about that then. They have three fleets in our territory. We could build ships too. How many nanites do we have? 52,000. But each of these is 425, which is a lot of... They're fast to build though, so let's just stop here. Alert. Station engaged. And wait for some more to build. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. Retaking Cytine is going to be a bit of a challenge. Alright, what do we got for techs? Let's go proton launchers and let's go... Ancient missiles are good, but again, they're a small weapon, so they can't be used by the nanite ships. If they could, they would be probably the best weapon to take. You're building more ships. Come here. I'm going to put all of our fleet right here. So if they jump in on us, we will hopefully shred them. So there they are. I want to see if they come further. They might run away. Okay, that's actually fine. We're down energy, but that's not a big deal. Do that. It's actually made our ships cheaper, too. We can build more of them. running away a lot, which is interesting. Maybe because our allies are taking care of them or something, but let's start taking back some of our systems. They're invading one of our worlds. And we are Definitely gonna die. Kia Prime, which one's that? Okay, that one. Alright, we'll have to build an army. We do have an army, which is not very good, so let's build a bigger army. Problem solved. Is Clea a. No, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. It's a relatively small planet. I need more fleets. You're coming in. Good. You're still building ships. I need you to get over here. They're just running away now. I think it's because they're being heavily invaded. It does appear so. Now, I think their ships just got more powerful somehow. Take Dams is back. Alert. Then we'll go Service there and we'll go to Tau Ceti. Compromised. Technological acquisition successful. 
technological acquisition successful. They're going... Oh, up there. Okay. We can wait for them at Tau Ceti and ambush them. Alert. Station engaged. We also need to get techs going, because apparently we're not paying that much attention to that. Research outputs. And... I don't know. Why am I getting flat cannons when I can get nanite flak things? Let's get machine upgrades. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Where's their other fleet? Where's Unif Prime? Okay, they could get to Unif Prime potentially. I don't know where their fleet is gone. Did they flee? Construction complete. Can we see into the space? Yeah, we can. Where is their fleet? Construction complete. Did they retreat home? They might have. Let's go retake our stuff then. Okay, we'll take that, 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 that. That, that, Communications that. Sidebash will be the last one we do, and we're going to keep trying to build ships in the meantime to... I'm sorry, Sightine is the last one we'll take. It's got 21,000 fleet strength, which is still going to be rough for us. Grab Quantum Catapult. Okay, if we can... I don't really care now. I just need to get a mega structure going, because this is ridiculous that we're still stuck with none. And I still don't actually know if... um. The synaptic lathe counts. But on the bright side, we did enter this war and we will be able to get pops out of it once we once they take these planets for us. Can we claim any more systems in the meantime? Yes, possibly. I'm gonna add that claim. It's an expensive claim. But it is their home world, so it might have a lot of population for us. Alright. Alert. Non-standard space entity encountered. Hostile stationary asset engaged. So one thing about the nanite chips are they die super fast. However, they are extremely good at swarming, which, go figure, that's what they're good for. And as we get more Alert. of them, they'll become space an endless swarm that we can do stuff with. It's also why we want to build mining stuff on a lot of these worlds, because even though it only produces a little bit of nanite production per world, it builds up fast and you can start building ships relatively quickly. Hostile stationary asset engaged. And we're going to need that engaged. army that we built. Let's grab these guys and these guys. Group them all together. And go down here to Clea and retake that back. Successful. Cruisers are done. Let's grab quantum missiles. I guess we're building a Alert. quantum catapult. Spaceport it's not what I wanted, but it's going to happen. Alert. Spaceport deconstructed. Wait, something just Hostiles. happened. The crystal sphere. A strange object has arrived in orbit of Nex or Nexus Zero. A crystalline sphere reminiscent of our own Rift Sphere technology. It appeared without warning along no known trajectory. At such close proximity to ne or Nexus Zero, the sphere may represent a significant danger to our people. On the other hand, it might contain something valuable. Insights into the nature of dimensional travel. We'll study it. It's going to lead us to this galaxy center system. It's one of the new events that popped up. There is a fleet here. So we're going to have to put our fleets together. Where are they going to go? What's their plan? Looks like they're going home. Yeah, it looks like they're going home. Okay, let's go to Clea then. All right, keep going. Got to keep getting our ships into place and our council agenda ready. Oh, they've sent a fleet back there. I see. We have a allied fleet there. I was wondering what they were doing. 
our star base wasn't nearly as good as the last game when we had things like um, the defensive tree and everything else. Which makes sense because we weren't really focused on that. What's this? Empire Unity. Okay, we'll correctional vice section that away. Somebody got psychic powers. We're gonna grab spiteful. We're gonna grab what? Machine complex. We need to build pops faster. It's always useful. Someone's pledging secret fealty to me. That's not gonna last long once we start purging people, but that's fine. Go here. Okay, we need to get... Our fleets are going to have to attack Saitina and it's going to suck. We're going to lose a bunch of them. It's a pretty tough station. We'll chew through the shield really fast. We won't be able to chew through the armor very fast. And they do have a lot of armor. Technological acquisition successful. Although we can just wait. There's an 86,000 fleet strength coming in. What? No, you idiots. Stop, stop, stop. Are we far enough away? Okay, we need to not jump there. Go this way right now. That one guy's dead. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go there. That one's gonna die horribly. And it did. We've met a curator. After this war ends, we'll call it a video, but let's just finish up this war. Technological acquisition successful. Starbase capacity, and we'll grab... Oh, we can get the ancient macro batteries. Let's grab that. It's going to be good for when we build our ships to be better at their jobs. I'm going to wait for to see if this transport or this big fleet comes in. And we got a bunch of new ships as well. This has been five years, so send them all over there. Our fleet strength now is uh, 57,000. And it's just gonna keep going up. I forgot we had Federation fleets, which would have been helped, which would have helped to look at. So we have eighty-six thousand fleet strength worth of Federation fleets. I'm gonna go help them take out this world once they do whatever they're doing. What are they doing? Where are you go? No, come back. They're not gonna help us take that station down. They're jerks. <laughs> um, let's build this, and we're fine on that. Oh right, I was gonna check that one thing. Can we build these better? No, they're just only those. I guess we could build them for now, right? And then, in the future, we can turn them into the better versions of themselves. Synaptic Lathe is staggeringly bad at what it's doing, but let's keep building it up. Uh, what Alert. else can we do? Non -standard space Stability or upkeep from job is building. Okay, that one's the one we want. We just don't have enough acquisition successful. advanced research for Alert. it, so we're going to wait. Space entity encountered. Let's build rudder missiles. We have a pretty sizable fleet here. Uh, this is not enough transport ships. Where's the rest of our transport fleet? Did all of our transports die? No, they're all still here. Okay. I should have sent these ones down. I'm willing to bet that the fleet on Clea doesn't have a lot, though. 171. Let's just go take it out. Once this fleet grouping gets here, we'll uh, send them all in. And what's this looking like? We're fine on that. We're critically short on what? Volatile modes. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, let's build 500 of that. That sucks. Pacification protocols initiated. Retaking our world now, though. Ground invasion units have achieved all Great. Clea is back to normal and can build its upgrade. Back up to 15,000 nanites. That's pretty good. And we can start getting these when we have more of... kind of want the unity still. Although, if we could just take off a couple of these unity places, right? And build more transmuters... we can just upgrade them, make them better. And then also get better pop increases too. In fact, I'm going to do that on this world, because why not? We're only losing zero rare resource or rare crystals a month. 
This is going to be a sucky fight, but it looks like... Where's our Federation fleet gone? What are you doing? Technological acquisition. You had this successful. war in the bag, and then you screwed it up. All right, well, whatever. Federation fleet isn't doing anything particularly useful. Let's just grab the naval cap. It doesn't matter, but it's a short tech, and none of the other ones were particularly interesting. And we're going to level up that one. All right, we should be able to take on the station, I think. Let's see how our nanites fare. Acquisition successful. Hostile stationary asset engaged. Oh yeah, we're fine. Technological acquisition successful. Instantly destroy that. Although we've reached 100 percent war exhaustion. I think it really... Oh, did we peace out? Why? I didn't get anything from this. What a ripoff. They like us again? Why do they... No, they're hostile to us. Okay. They joined a federation, the Pan-Galactic Coalition, which includes other people. That's going to make them annoying to attack. We'll just wait till we have a couple more ships then. Fine. We'll deal with it later. We can maybe go fight this guy instead. We could also probably go kill the, um... Did they kill that thing? <laughs> we could probably go kill this... The, um... Scrapper if he's still alive. I don't know if they killed it or not. Actually kind of curious to see what happened there. We did get Saiten back. Let's build that into a citadel, because it never actually got to be a citadel, which might also have result or explained why it died so quickly. Or they downgraded it, I'm not entirely sure. Field Professor, we can build our um, quantum catapult site now. Do we have a pulsar is actually a better question. I didn't think this through. Um... Do we have nowhere to put this thing? Come on, game. Give me a break here. Needs to be around a pulsar, right? Okay, where is the nearest pulsar to us? I don't think it can be a black hole either. I think it actually has to be a pulsar. Certainly try, I guess. No. Let's see if we can find a pulsar so we can see what they look like. They look like... That. I guess we can go through this guy. Let's claim some of his stuff. That might even drive him to declare war on us. Guess we'll find out. What is the defense on this station? 42,000. That's a bit better than the other one was before it got horribly destroyed. Um, sure, crystal mines are actually, nope, change of plans. Let's grab plasteel armor. I think we're gonna leave the auto cannons on for now. They're pretty good. Once this fleet gets here, we'll jump into this area. New Astral Rift apparently was found. Technological. really should call it soon so we can go to bed, but let's see. Let's go in and see if we can find this thing to kill. Acquisition successful. Oh, they did kill it. Well, that sucks. I didn't get the event for that one. That's actually a good one, too. We could kill Dimensional Horror, but it's a stupid one, and I don't care as much. Oh, that's dumb. Let's grab a scientist. I don't care who. Go survey this system. They used our Federation fleet to kill it, and uh, now we can't do it. It's fine. Whatever. It's okay. It's not what I'd hoped would happen, but it's also not that big of a deal. 
We can now do this instead. Swarm is probably still the best for us. Yes. Better thrusters, better sensors. And we want afterburners. Um, nanite repair ships or systems are completely worthless on these because they only have 100 armor and 50 hull. Actually, the 100 armor is pretty decent. We could... Nah, that's fine. Um, let's grab assembly code and also catalog. Nope. I mean, yeah, cataloger, I guess it's fine. None of them are particularly good. Build this. We're going to find some people to put into this machine. They might need food. We might have to buy food. We can't successful. afford to buy food, but we'll worry. About. We'll work on that later. That's not our problem at the moment. We're going to get advanced afterburners. Those are super important. This has too many maintenance drones on it at the moment. Successful. Deal with that in a sec, too. Why can we not get a single good mega structure anywhere? Is it because we don't have battleships? It might be because we don't have battleships now that I think about this. A little more. We'll see though. We'll get battleships next chance it pops up, and then we'll deal with it. Build this and this. How's our... I guess we could turn off those pluses for now, though I don't think I'm going to. So we're going to be going to war pretty quickly if we can. Uh, as soon as this hits 2335 and our fleets get into position, we'll have lots of nanites to deal with everything. And our landing army is pretty good. Just over 2k and there's another thousand there. This is done. Now, question. It does not. So the synaptic lathe does not count as a megastructure, unfortunately. So that is less than good. And we're going to have to deal with that as soon as we can. Let's grab battleships in case that's what we're needing. This place has extra jobs, I guess. It's got some transmuters. We can grab some of those. Technological. I'm gonna grab another transmuter, successful. and then another one of those. Perfect. Done. You, what can you do? Ancient cavitation things. Once we're done with that, we're gonna uh, we're gonna modify this whole fleet. Actually, go there. As with you, go there too. We're going to change the nanite autocannons into those two systems. Okay, that should get rid of some of our bad stuff. And we're going to do finding the voice for unity, because I still want more unity to build up. So we can get our last ascension perk as well. Can you build this yet? Nope, not quite. Close, though. You build transmitters. Two of them. And then one... Sentinel post. Transmuters. Sentinel post. Okay. Anyone else got a lot of this place? Build all those mining districts. They're way better than whatever else this thing is doing. Oh, we have nanite high harvest, harvest basins too. We can get... No, these are what we needed. That's what... I was added to the planet when we changed it. Um, let's go with minerals. Let's still use some. Technological acquisition successful. Research speed went up. Zero point reactors. Let's get that. And the cavitation beam should be done in a couple seconds here. Technological acquisition successful. And we're gonna grab a couple nanites. Transmuters. Whirlwind missiles are pretty good. We'll grab two expanded reactors. We can only get one at the moment. Technological acquisition successful. And ancient driller drones could be really good, although I found that they don't work properly with the swarmers, so I'm not going to put them on our ships. But that did mean we are done that. So let's get the ancient cavitation thing and the the range on that 0 to 60 versus 0 to yeah and the macro battery 
Also increased our evasion, apparently, but we can actually make it even more evasion y. 84.2. 87.6. Good enough. The easiest way to upgrade all these ships, by the way, is in the fleet manager. So you can just go down the list. Is there a hockey for this? Nope. Sure isn't. This sh either will really increase their power or really decrease their power, and I'm not sure which one it's going to be, because I don't know how these are weighted relative to each other. But our ships are basically done being um, set up. I think we can need we need dark matter thrusters still, and we'll also need better AI roll things. But for now. It always done. Okay. Ship augmentations complete. Should go pretty fast. Complete. What if they Ship go up or down? I think they're going up. Hostile infiltration detected. Our encryption measures have caught a band of anonymous yet deadly infiltrators. They claim various allegiances, none of which we could hope to verify. These pelissimus looking operatives were carrying various incriminating items, some of which we were able to decrypt. We suspect, however, that these items are a fabricated distraction or ruse. These spies may indeed be working for the Pelissimian Confederacy, but the evidence is inconclusive. It may be worthwhile to keep a closer eye on the Pelissimian Confederacy, just in case. However, it may also benefit us to keep quiet and not let it slip. We'll bide our time. I don't really care too much. Ship our fleet strength is definitely going completed. up with those new techs, and our fleet strength completed. is now 67, 68. 69, 70. Just gonna let it keep building. We also got. Ship we're gonna get new ones. Completed. Oh, we just got new ones recently, I guess. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Ship augmentations completed. Okay. We should probably think about going to war with this guy at some point in the near future. But it's gonna be in a later video. I'm gonna wait till the end of this year and we'll call it there. I'm gonna send all these ships here for now. This world or this system is actually pretty good. Actually, does have a good amount of orbital bodies. I don't even know. Little starbase there. Not really. Okay. Well, now's our rare resources. Low on crystal. Actually, we're extremely low on crystal. We should buy some crystal. We're also low on energy. But that's fine. We're going to get more energy as we build worlds into it. Specifically the worlds that are good at it. Technological acquisition successful. Like that one. Whirlwind missiles done. We can do the flak battery still. Or we can just get exotic gas refineries. Because it's a quick tech. Alright. Commissioner. Admiral. No, let's get commissioners. We don't need admirals at all. Technological acquisition successful. And we're almost done the year, and we're going to call it at that point. Let's just get railguns, I guess. I can't believe we still haven't gotten megastructure stuff. That's kind of terrible, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to get a bunch more people in our empire soon. We should get called. You know what? We should just grab, honestly, at this point. Instead of waiting around for megastructure engineering and just. Just go all in. We need Titan Tech though, I think, right? Yeah. Okay, so we get Titan Tech. And then we're gonna grab Colossi. We'll build a Colossus. Yeah, we'll build a Colossus. I need... I don't know, let's get Habitat Tech out of the way. Oh, we went over our time, that's okay. I'll wait till April. Slightly irked that we still didn't get any sort of mega structure stuff, but oh well. It'll be fine. We're gonna be okay. We're getting our fleets finally. We're at 431 fleet cap. And actually, there is going to be a growing ship upkeep problem. Only from. I guess these don't count. The defense platforms? Oh, there's none there. Actually, we only have a handful of defense platforms left. 
These ones all got blown up and rebuild them. Now we just get rid of these ones. We should have no upkeep problems related to this. So let's just get rid of them. We should have no ship upkeep now. Let the month roll over and take a look. Yeah, down to seven. I guess our science ships technically count. The reason we want to build a lot of ships is this is going to become much more soon. Like, we're already starting to get hundreds per every five months. We're starting to get, once we get extra worlds in this, we're going to get thousands per every five months. Or five years, I should say. And then we'll take over the galaxy. We need a Colossus so we can do total wars. That's our big problem at the moment. And our Federation is going to dissolve at some point in the near future because they're not going to like us around anymore. But for now, I'll leave you here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.